Hi and welcome to another game video and in today's video I'm going to show you why I hate selling on eBay. So recently I decided that I was going to sell my new 3DS XL. I don't really use it um, and I sold it with a bunch of games, got a decent price for it, it arrived safely and then the next morning the gentleman who bought it said oh it doesn't read the game so I want my money back. So I thought okay fair enough I don't I can't really argue with it. So it arrived back this morning. These are the four games that I sold with it. So there's two 3DS games. This is Cars 2, Art Academy. Uh, these are two DS games. So this is Simpsons game and a Titanic game. And I thought, I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. If it doesn't work, I'd be, uh, I'd be miffed as well. So this is the Titanic game. Oh, look. It reads it. Okay, so this is the Simpsons game. And it had no problems reading that either. So I thought, well, maybe we'll check out the 3DS game, see if that's a, a problem. So this is Art Academy. Oh, nope, reads that one too. And then this is the final one, this is Cars 2. And it reads that as well. So, okay, it's a bit of a bonus. I've got the console back. Uh, it does work absolutely fine. Uh, it's read all four games that I sold with it. Uh, he claims that he put games in it and it doesn't read any of his games. Uh, I said to him, well, maybe it, it, it's been sitting on my shelf for a little while, so perhaps it just needed you know, the cartridge in and out, or blowing the cartridge port, etc. Oh, I've tried all that. Um, it doesn't read any games. I've been missold, etc. Well, no, you haven't. So, okay, so I've got it back. Uh, I sent it there. It arrived in good condition. I sent it back. Uh, it didn't, it wasn't damaged in transit, so that is a small bonus, I suppose. Um, there's no marks or anything. I, I packaged it very well, and give him his dues, he popped it all back in the very padded pack and that I'd uh, sent it in and it came back in the same condition that I sent it. Uh, so it's a fully working console and I'm just a little miffed because obviously I've had to pay for return postage. Uh, now I've got to refund him even though there isn't anything wrong with it. Uh, it it's just so annoying. Uh, I'm going to do it again. This is the Simpsons game. It's a DS game and it pops in absolutely fine. Uh, this is the Titanic game, which I know this works, and, and you've seen that I've used this console on my channel, so I did try and tell him that. I thought he maybe was trying to scam me. This is Cars 2. See, absolutely fine. This is four games that it's reading, so I don't know what he was trying to stick in it. This is the Art Academy one. Um, I was a bit dubious, I thought maybe he's broken it uh, and that's why he wants to send it back and that's why it doesn't read cartridges, but no. So okay, there's a small bonus that it is still fully working and it's in great condition and I can resell it on, um, but I'm just miffed. This is what happens on eBay all the time, I don't often sell on eBay, um, but they side with the buyer and now I've got a, the hassle of being slightly out of pocket because I've paid for postage etc and return postage um, but there you go so uh, the guy that bought this originally uh, says that he subscribed to my channel so he's probably going to see this video and I'm not very happy at all I, I mean happy that I've got it back uh, and that it is in pristine condition still but I've now got to go through the whole palaver of relisting it um, and just saying that it does actually work despite what he claims. It's read all four of these games without any issues. Um, I mean, it's a DS. Unless you bend the pins, which I thought maybe that had happened by him, um, then there really isn't anything that can go wrong with it. I mean, you can see the pins. I don't know if you can. Probably not with my camera. Uh, but I can see them and they all look perfectly straight where they should be. Uh, so there you go. I've got my DS back. This is my new 3DS XL, which I decided to part with because I don't really use it. 
uh, I'm going to use my Vita instead. Um, and now I've just gone through this whole palaver of selling it and getting it back and got a refund and then I've got to resell it and hope that I don't have any more issues. But there you go, that's why I don't sell on eBay very often. Um, but the bonus is I've got it back and it's uh, absolutely fine. But oh, there you go. I'm not really sure what the point of this video is, but just try and avoid selling things on eBay. I like to do things local if possible. Uh, you avoid fees. The person can come round and see it. You can possibly negotiate a price. Uh, and once they've paid and taken away, that is then their their problem. If there's anything wrong with it or they discover anything wrong with it or they break it, tough really, isn't it? Um, so there you go. Don't sell on eBay. It really is a pain. Uh, link, like, subscribe, enjoy.